So the next topic we're going to move on to is annuities. So, but before we talk about annuities, we're going to have to deal with the geometric series. So why do we need the geometric series? So when we deal with annuities, we're going to have to deal with a series of payments. So the payments might happen like once per year. And if we're told to pr find the present value of all those payments, you're going to have to deal with geometric series. So it's very important that you understand how geometric series work and how to derive formulas for them. So we're going to, for starters, we're going to start with a geometric series S. And it's going to be equal to some constant A plus AR plus AR squared all the way to a r to the power of n minus 1. And so uh, we see that the geometric series starts with the term a, and then we multiply each next term successively by r, and then we add them all up. So the problem is, how do we find a formula to calculate this? So we can add all these up manually, of course, but we want to find a formula that can help us add up all this quickly. So how do we arrive at that formula? So the first thing we do is we multiply both sides by r. So uh, quite obviously the left hand side is equal to this. The right hand side is equal to a r plus a r squared all the way to a r n minus 1 a r n. And then we're going to subtract this term from this term. So on the left hand side we get s minus r s. And then notice that when we sub on the right hand side when we subtract this from this, uh, these terms cancel out, these terms cancel out, and the cancellation keeps continuing in the middle until we reach n minus 1, so these two cancel out. And then we were left with this term. This doesn't really correspond to uh, any other term in this series, so uh, this doesn't get cancelled out. Same goes for this term. So these two terms don't get cancelled out. So we, on the right hand side we're left with a minus a r to the power of n. And so we do a bit of factorization. At this point, I think it's easy enough. So s is equal to a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. So there we have it. This is our formula. So at first, first glance, this formula seems rather difficult to remember. So let us just find an easier way to remember this. So just notice the formula is equal to uh, I'll just write the formula out first. And notice that our series is equal to a plus a r plus a r squared all the way to a r n minus 1. So a is what we call the first term. So a is our first term. And r is what we call the common ratio. And it's called the common ratio because uh, each uh, successive term is multiplied by r. So the ratio of this term with its previous term is always r because they multiply the previous term by r to get the next one. So this r is actually uh, called the common ratio. And notice that in the entire series we have n terms. So there are n terms. So the n we have it here. So instead of memorizing uh, all these symbols over here, we can actually rewrite the formula as s is equal to the first term multiplied by 1 minus the common ratio, I'm going to write the common ratio as CR, to the power of number of terms, divided by 1 minus the common ratio. And there we have it. This is actually a much better way to memorize the formula. So uh, if you told me to memorize the formula symbolically like this, I wouldn't, do, uh, I wouldn't be able to do it, but I'll always be able to recall this. So. I definitely recommend you memorize this. So uh, that is all for today's uh, videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.